In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up high fidelity music mode for your Zoom music lessons. This is for update 5.4.9. Stick around to the end of the video. You don't want to miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. Thank you so much for coming across the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. So the people at Zoom have been really, really awesome. You know, th in the middle of the pandemic, we were able to use Zoom for music classes, performances, and the Zoom uh, crew, they were working with people at Yale to make sure that there's enough bandwidth for us to uh, project as, as close to a sound as humanly possible through a computer screen and alongside with the mic and other accessories. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set high fidelity music mode up if you haven't done so already, if you haven't, I don't know where you've been because you've probably been living under a rock. So, but but if you're a beginner student and you are not really sure how to set it up, this is the video for you. So stick around. All right. So this is a homepage of your Zoom account, and just for the sake of this video, um, I am running on a Mac. So what you'll do is you'll go to the top left corner. You'll go to zoom.us you'll go to preferences or you can hit the the command button on your Mac and what you will do is you can see right now is that my microphone is clearly working I'm not using any external mic but you obviously I highly recommend that you do so that way you get the closest sound for yourself and for your um, for your student and you might notice that going down here the music and professional audio is already in the audio settings back um, when I did my last video you'll you would have to go to advance click on high fidelity audio and then do a bunch of like different settings but it's right in the music settings which is really really great and uh, what I like to do is I like to have this low uh, faint background sound um, I don't like it on auto because for for some reason I the the sound that I project to my students kind of vacuums out so that's something to kind of keep in mind. And um, obviously if you have a different situation at home, like if you're living in a big building with a, with a lot of tenants and whatnot, then you can of course um, adjust the background noise to your liking. But what we're gonna want right here is the, the music and professional audio. This is what we want. So a couple of things here, what I have set up i have show in meeting option for enable original sound from microphone this is ideally if you have an external mic and you want to plug it in which i again i recommend uh, you want to click on a high fidelity music mode because that'll ensure that the that the program the software will enable enough bandwidth to send along as clear as the sound as possible so just to kind of give you an idea uh, high fidelity music mode optimizes zoom audio for highest quality music it increases cpu utilization and consume greater network bandwidth so that's something to keep in mind that if you're going to be doing zoom and put original sound and high fidelity music mode that will take up a lot of bandwidth so if you have a fast internet connection great but if you're sharing the wi-fi with like your family members it might be uh might be a little uh, choppy at times i know that uh, sometimes for me my wi-fi got a little choppy when i was sharing my wi-fi so um, just something to keep in mind. And then the echo cancellation, um, I keep this on and what you really want is you want to have a, have a headphone with you and it disables echo cancellation rhythms and Zoom really highly suggests that you have uh, headphones with your microphone. Uh, this is interesting. I think this is a new feature with the stereo. Um, this option enables Zoom to encode audio in stereo. A stereo capable microphone or audio interface is necessary. It will increase CPU utilization and consume greater network bandwidth. So this is something for like music producers or someone who has already like a music studio set up and they connect their music like MIDI interface into the computer, um, make things a lot uh, a lot clearer sound and a more authentic sound into the into the computer i wish there was more to this video but this is all i got for you um thankfully the people at zoom made it really really easy for musicians to kind of set up everything so if you're a new student who just uh started lessons and music then you know hope i hope this video really was helpful 
And if you're a violinist, subscribe to the channel because I do a bunch of violin how-to tutorials and tips. And I upload videos every Tuesday and every Friday, so you can expect a video from me then. Um, again, please subscribe uh, to the channel if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Again, if you found this video helpful, share it with other people, so that way um, we can continue um, providing music into people's lives. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.